So I'll tell you uh, one, um, one study, it's in- astonishing. So it's looking at the impact of bed rest on muscle mass in older people. So basically it just gets some older people to lie down in bed for five days, which happens all the time. Yeah. So in that five days, they lose two kilograms of muscle mass. So just have a think about that, right? Imagine some sirloin steaks, which is my favorite cut of meat. You know, four, of the, four or five of those babies and having that cut out of your body. Just imagine what it does to your body. How, uh, and that uh, just takes not getting out of bed for five days. And that's, uh, that is what sarcopenia is? Is that right. sarcopenia? That's it. And, and when you say older people, we're talking about over 70? What are we talking about? I think it was about? over 80. Over 80. Right. And so, you know, that's going to happen at some point in our lives. And so when it happens to me, I'm hoping that I go into old age with a reserve of muscle mass. Right. Yeah. Well, th- and that's and that's sort of the thesis that uh, Atia and all those people were talking about. Right. You've got to build it now because you're not going to build it overnight. Right. It takes a long time, and then you've got to maintain it. Right. And we're really good at building it when we're younger. Yeah. And so that speaks to you know when a high protein diet may be appropriate or less appropriate. You know, young guys, uh, young men and women um, who want to look good, want to lose weight. A high protein diet is probably, if we know for a fact, it's effective at losing weight and looking ripped. Right. People look great, and uh, you know they have higher level, higher circulating levels of sex hormone levels. Um, they're more fertile, so that could be a good time for to have a high um, protein intake. It's it's interesting because like if I'm like I'm nearly seventy, so if I'm trying to, you're looking good for nearly seventy. Yeah, thank you. If <laughs> I'm if I, I think it's genetics, but <laughs> if I'm trying to, well, actually it's not because I've been really conscious of these right. things for a long, long time. But if I'm trying to prepare myself when I get to 80, not to have an accident, right. not to fall over, um, to be able to also from a, um, not so much a lifespan point of view, but just from a health span point of view, be able to enjoy myself, to be able to do certain things, pick grandkids up, yep. you know, go for a run around the park with them or whatever. Um, I need to have a certain level of muscle mass yep. in order to move all my limbs and also to have strength. So that's, that suggests to me that, Right now, ten years prior to that eightieth birthday, um, or eleven years prior to that eightieth birthday, that I need to build, either build more muscle mass or maintain muscle mass where I have it. Yep. Which suggests to me it's it's harder to maintain muscle mass at my age than but it ever is doable. before. It you, is doable, right? You no, know, Resist- it's doable, but you've got to do training. more. You've got to do more resistance work. Yeah, that's right. More than I've ever done before. Yeah. Not necessarily heavier, but definitely more. More diligently is probably a better yeah. way of putting it. Yeah. You know, you can't miss two weeks. Yep. You can't miss a month through injury. If you do, it's really hard to recover. Yep. 